On the unit, you will see the warning sticker to not spray liquids or cleaners on the display. You may want to keep the sticker as a reminder to your office. You can also download a PDF version of cleaning instructions from the Gemini Evo dashboard. The Gemini Evo starts up by pressing the power button. It is designed with a transparent electroluminescent display that can provide high-resolution viewing angles from up to 160 degrees of field of view. You will see the top bar fill as it starts up. You will have to enter the passcode found in the instructions to unlock it. The unit then prompts you to choose your wavelength. There are three wavelengths available, 810 nanometers, 980 nanometers, and dual wavelength mode combining both. After selecting your wavelength, you can input the average watt setting to start cutting if you know the settings you need to use. Select active, then depress the foot pedal. The Gemini Evo comes with presets organized into three intuitive categories, non-surgical, surgical, and pain relief or PBM. All power settings can be customized on the Gemini Evo laser unit or via the dashboard. The pain relief or PBM presets correspond to the included 3mm, 7mm, or 25mm adapter tip. The display will show time in seconds and can be adjusted with the right arrow by tapping for 1 second increments and holding for 10 second increments. The timer counts down in seconds and stops automatically after treatment time is completed. If the activation pedal is released mid-treatment, the timer will pause and will resume when the pedal is depressed again. The unit is designed with Guided Touch Interface, or GTI. As you operate the Gemini Evo, only relevant icons light up to help guide you through the interface and make proper input selections. Pressing the menu button brings up the options for haptic sense, aiming light, tip illumination, and sound settings. The Gemini Evo foot pedal is equipped with haptic sense. As you press the pedal, you will feel a buzzing sensation to the foot while the activation pedal is depressed. The handpiece is also equipped with haptic feedback in the PBM mode to provide the patient with the same sensation to let them know when the treatment cycle has started and ended. To adjust intensities between low, medium, high, and off, touch the arrows up and down. An aiming light is also built in to aid you in visibility during treatment. You can adjust its intensity as well as deactivate it. The Gemini Evo hand piece is equipped with a tip illumination light to provide better visibility of the surgical site during treatment. Its intensity can also be adjusted between low, medium, high, and off. Many of the options and settings of your Gemini Evo are customizable through the unit or the dashboard. This concludes the Gemini laser walkthrough. Be sure to watch our other Gemini Evo videos, unboxing, and dashboard tour for more information. As always, read the user's manual thoroughly before using your Gemini Evo Diode laser, and if you have any questions, please contact your territory area manager, customer service representative, or equipment support team for assistance.